Welcome to Shelf Bites here on the Shelf Addiction Podcast. Shelf Bite features spoiler-free book and audiobook reviews in five minutes or less. I'm your host, Tamara Ford. If you'd like to chat with me about the book reviewed in this episode, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Shelf Addiction. A quick note before I get started. If you enjoy this show and would like to help offset the production and hosting costs, please consider becoming a Shelf Addiction Patreon subscriber. You'll gain access to exclusive patron-only content, including behind-the-scenes photos, videos, and bonus episodes, especially for you. We also have a Ko-fi account if you prefer to make a one-time donation. To find both of these, please go to shelfaddiction.com and click on the support tab. Let's jump into it. Beneath a Scarlet Sky, written by Mark T. Sullivan, and the audiobook is narrated by Will Damron. Published May 2017 by Lake Union Publishing and Brilliance Audio, respectively. This book is a standalone historical fiction title. First up, the synopsis. Pino Lella wants really nothing to do with the war on Nazis. He is a Italian teenager and he is all about music, food, hot girls, and just having a great time in his hometown of Milan. After his city is attacked, Pino is sent off to the Alps and he is sent there for safety along with his brother. He ends up doing a whole lot of exciting things things while spending his time in the Alps and he grows a lot as a character. In an attempt to protect him when he returns home to Milan, Pino's parents force him to enlist as a German soldier and while he fights this he doesn't want to do it. He ends up succumbing and he does what his parents wish him to do. He is a German soldier working for one of the highest people in Italy working for the Nazis. And in that time, he is the personal driver and it is his time to choose what he wants to do, figure out who he is, how he can help the resistance and still, you know, stay true to his parents and, you know, do the right thing overall. So he endures everything that he sees as he is a German soldier And throughout this thing, he is keeping secrets. He is falling in love with a girl that he met a while back. He has these almost unbelievable adventures throughout the book. And he is falling in love all at the same time with a beautiful and also sad backdrop of Nazi occupied Italy. So here are my thoughts. Okay, Beneath a Scarlet Sky is a fast read with a really nice bow tie tied onto the ending. It was an extraordinary story with themes of faith woven throughout the story, as well as history, suspense, and love. While it is a historical fiction read, it is also teeny bit narrative nonfiction, which makes me think of this book a little differently. With all of the fantastical escapes and close calls, at time I wondered how much is true and how much is made up. This was my very first time reading a historical fiction that dealt with the Nazi-occupied Italy during World War II. From that standpoint alone, I found it very intriguing. The storytelling was straightforward and at times seemed a bit simplistic. On the flip side, the details that Sullivan provided regarding the life and time during World War II in Italy had me really visualizing the mountains and Milan. I will say that Pino Lilly surely has nine plus lives. I listened to this one on audiobook and the narrator Will Dameron did a great job with the material. Dameron's narration is eloquent and really connected me to Pino as well as other characters in the story. This was a book club read for me and I thought it was a solid choice for a book club discussion. For those of you that enjoyed The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna, this would be well worth the read. I'm rating Beneath a Scarlet Sky 4 out of 5 bookmarks. If you agree with my review or if you disagree with my review, feel free to let me know your thoughts by contacting me on Twitter or Instagram. Let's talk about the book. We can continue this over on social media. Thank you for listening, guys, and catch you on the next episode. Until next time, happy reading. Take care, everyone.